Hey guys, so let's go over some of those questions from the last video on circles. Number one, what is the area of sector BAC? So the sector BAC here has a central angle of 30 degrees, which means that we know that in proportion, it's 30 over 360, 360 being the total number of degrees inside the central angle of the circle. We know that the sector BAC has a radius of three, and we know that the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared, so pi r is 3 squared. So all we need to do is simplify this out to get the answer. So 30 over 360 just simplifies to 1 over 12 times 3 squared, which is 9 times pi. So we get 9 pi divided by 12. which, let's move this up here, simplifies down to 3 pi over 4. What is the length of minor arc BC? So this is somewhat similar to the last question, except we just need to use the circumference formula, which is 2 pi r. So again, we have 1 12th, which is simplified from 30 over 360, times 2 pi r which is 2 times pi times 3. So this simplifies to 6 pi over 12, which is simplified down to pi over 2. Moving on to number 2. Here we have a circle with a circumference of 4 pi. We know that this circle, circle A, is inscribed in this square, B, C, D, E. We're trying to find the area between the square and the circle, which is the shaded area. If we know that the circumference of the circle is 4 pi, we can get the radius by just plugging 4 pi into an equation with 2 pi r. So let's simplify these out, and we get 4 divided by 2, which is 2, and the pi's cancel out, so we get a radius of 2. So if we know the radius is 2, that means that we know the diameter has to equal 4, because the diameter is just 2 times the radius. We also know that circle A is inscribed inside the square, which means that it touches the square in four places. Those places right there that form tangent points. If that's the case, that means that this diameter here is equivalent of a side of the square. So if the diameter is 4, we know that BE is 4, BC is 4, and so on and so forth, because this is a square. So all we need to do now to find the area of the shaded region is take the area of the square and subtract out the area of the circle. So the area of the square is just the side times another side. So that's 4 times 4, which is 16. And we know the area of the circle is pi r squared. r is 2, 2 squared is 4, so we get 4 pi, which means that the area of the shaded area, the area of the shaded region is just 16 minus 4 pi. Last up we have number 3. The area of circle A is 4 pi. Circle A is inscribed in square B, C, D, E, like the previous question. What is the length of F, D? FD being right here. Alright, so again, the circle's inscribed in the square, which means that it has four tangent points. We know that since the area of the circle is 4 pi, we know pi r squared is the formula for that. So let's set the formula equal to 4 pi. Dividing by pi on both sides cancels them out. We're left with r squared is equal to 4 take the square root of both sides, and we get r is equal to 2. All right, so knowing that the radius is 2, let's extend another line from A to E. Now this forms a quarter of the square. It also means that we have a right angle here at A, because diagonals of a square bisect each other and create right angles at the middle, which means that DA and AE are the same length. 
If DA and AE are the same length, and we have a right angle here, it means that we have a 45-45 90-degree triangle. We know that one side here, the hypotenuse, is the equivalent of the diameter of the circle. The diameter here is 4, like in the last example, which means that DE is 4. So, knowing the ratios or proportions of a 45-45-90 degree triangle, they generally go 1, 1, root 2. So in this case, we're trying to figure out what the legs are. So, if we know that the legs are generally represented by 1, we can set 1 over x is equal to, we know the hypotenuse is always root 2, and in this case, it's 4. All we need to do is cross-multiply to get the length of one of the legs. So we get x root 2 is equal to 4. x is equal to 4 over root 2. To finish this off, let's move this up here. All we need to do is multiply by root 2 over root 2 to get the uh, root out of the denominator. That gets us 4 root 2 over 2, which is equal to 2 root 2. So now that we know that this side, DA or AD, is 2 root 2, we know AF, which is the radius of the circle, is 2. All we need to do is take DA and subtract out AF to get FD, which is 2 root 2 minus 2. And that's the answer. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found this helpful. Like always, feel free to leave questions and comments below and give the video a like if you found it helpful.